Okay, so we just finished our class, and what we're going to do now is you're going to take your... Oops, sorry, I'm pulling out the pins I did during class. You're going to take your filter layer, which in my case is this fabric. It's going to either for you guys be this fabric or fabric with orange elephants on it, uh, whichever one. And then you're going to take this one. This is what you did last week was sew these seams in the center of these two. This week we're going to take the pretty side, which is the outside of our lining, and we're going to put it on out, make sure that that is facing out. We're going to line that up with the seam, center seam of our other one. I don't really care which direction your um, filter layer is because it's going to be completely enclosed. So I'm going to put a pin in the center up top. From here I'm going to, so when I say the top, I mean up here, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin all the way across. So I'm going to start at the center and work my way out. It is always better to work your way out from the center on one of these because if there's any discrepancy, it'll be on the edges which are, which are going to be enclosed inside our casing anyway. So that's one side. I'm now pinning the other side. So one, two, and use as many or as few pins as you need. But here we go. Line up nice and neat. Trying to do this in front of a camera is not always easy. Okay, so here we go. This is what we have pinned so far. This is our top. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that, assuming I can find my foot pedal. In your case, you can sew it. Um, you're going to be. Most of you will be sewing it by hand. That is okay. Machine or hand doesn't matter as long as we sew it. I am staying pretty close to the edge because I don't want it to get too small. All right, that one is sewn now. You guys, it will take a little longer because you're hand sewn. All right, so I've sewn across the top and now I'm pulling the pins out. I'm only doing the top and bottom separately like this because ultimately the less pins in there, the less chance you have of poking yourself. So now I'm gonna take the bottom center seam on both of them like this. So this is our front and I'm gonna pin those together right in the middle. Again, just like the top, we are going to start in the middle, work our way out. Start in the middle, work our way out, all right? I hope you are all doing wonderfully today. Antoinette, you did a great job. It was nice to see you trying to follow along. I know you couldn't hear me. Natalie, thank you for helping me write notes for Antoinette and her mother so that they could, in fact, get some idea of where we were at, all right? Everybody working together is what's helping make this work out. So here we go. I've got top is sewn, bottom is currently pinned. I'm going to go over this. Again, this is the only seam I really care that it looks nice, and this is the part that's going to be up against your face, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and sew that now that the bottom is pinned. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this and pull the pins out. All right, so now this is what, let me go ahead and cut my extra threads off. You'll have less of those than I will because you're hand sewing. So this is what it'll look like, this direction. And however, this is the way it's actually gonna go on your face. It'll be this way, okay? So. I know I'm doing it over my glasses and stuff. So next thing we're gonna do is take your pretty fabric. You're gonna open it up and we're going to take the pretty side of our lining because now this is one layer and we're gonna call it the lining. It's no longer the filter and the lining, it's just the lining now. So we're gonna find our center top seam here and our center top seam on our outside fabric. The outside fabric is the one I sewed for you already. Okay, we're gonna line up the center seam on the top. Here, Natalie, is where you switched it around. You sewed this part before you sewed your filter in or before you sewed your um, lining in. Start at the center top point, and I am working my way out just like I did on the other one. The only difference between this and the last one is that this one actually has, you'll notice 
that my outside fabric is considerably longer. That is on purpose because eventually this is going to get folded over and making a casing for your elastic. So leave this alone. You'll notice I did not sew this. Don't worry about it. It's going to get covered. It's going to get sewn in another step. So don't worry about taking the time to make an extra seam there. All right. So I'm going to continue going from the center out on the other side so that you can see that. These videos are really going to be imperative to you guys being able to follow along. So I really, really, really hope you guys were able to log into the YouTube and get these videos. So as you can see again, that's what we had before. This is what we have now. It is definitely longer on either side. I'm going to go ahead and sew this, okay? All right, once you get that sewn, I'm going to pull the pins out. All right, so now you have this on the top, okay? We're going to do, oh my goodness, the same thing again on the bottom. Inside fabric, outside fabric, we're going to line up the center seam and put a pin in that. We're going to line up along the edges here and follow it out to the edge. So this is one side pinned. Now I'm going to do the other side. All right, that's pinned both sides. Again, lots of extra here on purpose. I'm going to go ahead and sew this now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, cut this off, pull my pins out and show you where we're at. All right, so we've got our pins out. Okay, now we get to make it start looking like a mask. You're gonna go in between your pretty fabric and your lining layer and I open it up, turn it right side out just like you're turning out a sock. A sock with two holes because you know this has two holes it should at this point all right so this here is the starting frame of your mask mine has star wars and the death star on it super exciting i know all right from this point next week we'll start working on closing it up and everything at this point, if you're going to put wire in, which I will be, but I did not put wire in you guys' project um, bags because I want you to get through one before you worry about trying an extra step. Um, I will be putting wire in the nose. I am using a gardening wire. Um, but that is where we will be at this point, Should is where I would like you to try and be by Monday when we have our next lab, all right? So I hope this video is helpful. And you can watch it as many times as you want. You all know how to get a hold of me if you need to um, for any extra information. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.